Today, I wanna to show you how to use the best free premium PDF editor. You won't believe all the different options. Take a look at them. All these are free. I kept on looking for a catch when I was gonna click on one. Was it gonna ask me to pay for something? But nope, you get all of these. And it even has its own AI built into it. Let me show you how this works today. The PDF editor that I want to show you today is called PDF Gear. I'll put the link to this site down below in the description. All you have to do is go and click on the free download, no email required, and then just install it on your computer. And you can see all the different operating systems this is available to be installed on. Let's get started on how this works now. I just wanted to point out, you could use the online version to edit your PDFs as well. I'll put the link to this, and then you can just drag and drop your PDFs into this and do many of the same features that I'm gonna show you with the installed version. Let's go ahead and open a PDF file. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag one over. I could go and open the file and go find it, but if I go drag this one, let's say a sample file, it will just open up in PDF gear. Now I can do a few things right away to adjust how I wanna see it. If you look right through this area, if you wanted to see double pages, I could click on that and then as I scroll through, through you'll see everything with the double pages. You can quickly go back to single, you can zoom up quickly, go back to 100%, just like normal adjustments in other PDF editor. Uh, you have continuous where you can turn off and on. You can see at the bottom as I click on, it shows the other page below. You can even turn on auto scroll. So if I just click on this, notice how it's moving and I can speed this up as well uh, just by adjusting those numbers. Click it again, it turns off. You can turn this into a slideshow view. So if you wanted to just click on slideshow, it goes through and you can uh, use it as such. I'm gonna exit out. As I go back, notice that there's also a screenshot. So right within PDF gear, if I click on screenshot, I can take a screenshot right within this PDF editor and I can go and download it. I could copy it or close it, cancel it or done. So I'm just gonna hit cancel on this to remove it. Now we have OCR and I'm gonna open a different file to explain what this does. So if I go ahead and just close this, Notice when I close that PDF, I still have this here. This is a scan here of, uh, so it's a PDF. If I go ahead and drag it over, this is just a image. That was a note that they have popped up in it. So this is a scanned image that I can't go through and edit normally, but with OCR, what I can do, and I'm gonna zoom up on this. Let's say I wanted to take this text out. I could go to OCR, highlight the area that I want, and hit done and notice it processes here and pulls that text out of here. At this point, I could copy it to the clipboard or save it as a text file. So you can pull that text right out of an image. All right, let's move over to some other things with editing a PDF. Once you open up your PDFs, you have them in your recent list. If you wanted to clean out any of these, you can remove them from the list right here. Let's go ahead and open up the sample uh, PDF that I opened at the very beginning, and we'll go over some of the editing. But what I wanna show you first, if you don't like this light theme, if you look up in the top corner here, notice that we can quickly change our themes if you wanted it to a dark theme here, and you can even uh, change the background. So if I go to night mode, it just makes it a bit darker there. I'm going to keep it for uh, to light for and day mode for this tutorial here. And over on the side, we have our bookmarks that we can click on. Uh, there's none in this one. We have the different thumbnails of the pages, so we can navigate quickly through any of these by just opening and scrolling down. And then we also have comments, but there's no comments in this uh, document that I'm working on. And I'm just going to close it to open up full view. Okay, so if we look across the top, I showed you the home. I'm gonna move over to edit here. So under edit, it is very, very quick to change these PDFs. As soon as I click edit text, notice that it goes a line around and I can go through now and just start deleting. So if I wanted this whole paragraph gone, I could select it, hit delete on my keyboard and it's gone. I could go through and write whatever I would like, wherever I would like, and just make it work like a normal document. I can adjust things like the font. If I wanted a different style, I can uh, just quickly change there. I can change the size here and make all these different adjustments with the color. 
and I'll bold it. Uh, so all these options to edit the text are very easy. When you're done editing the text, just go ahead and hit exit up here, and then you need to save any of the things that you have. So if I hit save, this is the copy that I'm working with now. I'm gonna move over to add text. So at any point, if you wanted to add more text, I can click add. And where do I want to have it? Well, if I just click anywhere on this, so if I click right here, I can say uh, example, and that's where that text is gonna be added. So wherever I click, notice that's where the text box is gonna be added and all the options are the same to get exactly what you want. And then exit when you're done. Same thing with adding more images. So if I wanted to go add an image, I can go and find an image on my, on my computer. So if I was just gonna go on my desktop and I'll pick this one here, I can pick it and place it, I can size it, uh, just like normal editors. Notice that they that it's not going to be uh, adjusting to where things are in this, but I can release, re I could delete things and then put the picture in. But if I don't want the picture here, I could just go ahead and right click on it. I could duplicate it, but I can go ahead and delete it. But if I move down and let's go to a picture here, if I click on any picture, notice I get this edit here so as soon as i click edit image it opens up where i could save it i could rotate it if i wanted to adjust it i could uh, go through and pull text out with ocr i could delete the picture or i could replace it so if i hit replace this time and i go and pick this one and hit open it replaces that vi that picture with a different picture so you can go through and make those quick adjustments i'm just going to go back to home and i'm going to zoom out back to here just so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so under editing, uh, if you wanted to add a link to something, so if I go ahead and click on link, now I'm in uh, link editing mode, I can just highlight something. So if I, or if I just draw the box around it, that's where the link will be. So I could go ahead and then put the URL, or do I want it to go to a different page in this document, or do I want it to leave the document and go to website, I would just go ahead and put those in and hit okay. Quickly add a watermark. So if I go uh, create watermark, let's say this is a draft. If I was gonna go in here and I type just draft, and I can adjust colors. I'm not gonna adjust too much of this, but if I just hit okay, notice that uh, there is a draft on this document here. And I could go through and add it to more pages. If you want it gone, just go ahead and delete watermark and hit yes. This doesn't have any page numbers on it, but you can quickly add those page numbers and set them up the way you want. And as soon as I hit okay, notice that the one is across the top here. Same thing, headers and footers. If you need to add any, go through. And we can even stamp. So if I go through and stamp, I could go to a preset that's already here. I could make a stamp. So if I was gonna say, if this was something that needed approval, I could take the stamp, I could place it wherever I want, and I could make this larger. Uh, and I could go through to make sure that people knew this was approved or I could put it as a draft as well. If I hit delete on my keyboard, it's gone. And another great feature is if I need a place to sign something, if I go to my signature here, I don't have one in here, so I could go ahead and create. So I could add a picture. So maybe I have a picture on my on my on my computer. I could upload that picture, and I could even remove the background of it. And I could type this in, or I could write this in. So if I was going to just quickly scribble my name here, and you know, it's going to be a little messy with my mouse, I could hit OK. So now I could quickly place my signature in and flatten and then it's gonna be in the document. So these features in the editing, and this is all free, I haven't had to do any upgrades, are right in here with PDF gear. Let's keep editing, but let's just change it to page view now. So I'm gonna click on the page tab, and I'll show you how quickly you can make adjustments. Let's say about page order. Let's look at this page right here. I can click and hold and drag it to wherever I would like. I'm gonna click yes, and now I've changed the order of the pages. If I wanted to extract certain pages from here, uh, I wanted it by itself, I can go ahead and select 
I could select multiple if I wanted and I go up to extract. Notice it's under selected is the range and I have pages two and four. So I could hit okay and extract those two pages alone. If I wanted pages out of here, I could go and select multiple ones again, go up to delete and just hit okay and make sure you have the right pages and hit okay. Yes, I can still undo if I use control Z, notice it puts it right back. I can insert pages. So if I wanted to go insert from a blank page, insert from a PDF, insert from Word, or even an image. So if you wanted to add more to your PDF that you already have, take advantage of the insert here. We can crop pages, we can even rotate. So if I wanted this to be rotated left, I can just click on it. And as I click through it, notice I can go right as well. So those are some great features under the page tab that will help you edit your document getting looking just the way you want it. As you go through and edit your PDF, remember to save your document. So whether you want to save it back to the original or do you want to do it as a different document and save as. Sometimes I like to keep my original and be working on a separate one. So I'll do the save as. And we can also open or print from here. And our undo, redo is here as well. Let's go over to comments. And I just want to point out how we can mark up our document. So what I mean by mark up is that we can highlight, we can add comments, we can add shapes. Uh, so if I click highlight here, notice that I get these uh, different colors I can choose. So if I chose red and I go through and just pick an area, then that becomes red. If I don't have this on, so now I turn it off. If I just highlight something, notice that as I let go of my mouse, I have some options that I can do here. So if I wanted to do strike through with orange, I can mark it up this way. So if you're going through and someone sends you a draft of something and you just want to do some markups on it, you can quickly add these uh, in different ways. So using these up here or just highlighting anything and seeing the uh, the different options come up. Now we can quickly add shapes. We have line, rectangle, oval. So as you pick any of these, you can just draw them on. And then we can also use ink, which allows you to just scribble uh, around and we have an eraser as well. So if I hit exit, then uh, we can also add notes. So notes are kind of an important thing as you're editing, especially with other people. Uh, if I go to uh, note, I could go ahead and pick a certain area. Now, as soon as I click on it, I can add a note. So I could say, uh, make, make changes. So if I was going to say make changes in here, and I can go ahead and click off of it. If I don't want to see any of the comments, if I go up top here and hide comments, all these different markups are gone. So it doesn't look all messy, but I can turn it back on to see all the different markups that are on here. The last thing I want to show you is under the tools here. And we can make quick conversions of this document. If we drop down, we can convert PDF to Word, PDF to Excel, PDF, and so on. Look at all these different conversions, ones that you can quickly do. If you have a large file and you want to make it smaller, we can compress it. So if I click compress, notice right now that I'm under 28.1 compression level. Let's go high and we're going to go ahead and run a compress. If I wanted it this to be in a different document place. I can make the adjustments on the output path, but I'm going to go and hit compress and let's see what the difference is. So it opens up the new one. I'm just going to close this down and look at the size. Now the compressed is at 418 kilobytes. That's a massive difference here. Uh, as I go through, notice that we can merge split signature but we also have password and remove password. So if you wanted a password to protect this, I'm gonna go click password, just type your password here, confirm it. And then when you remove it, you can go ahead and you'll have to know your password to remove it as well. I opened up a different PDF document and I just want to leave you showing you the AI that's built in here also. So if I go down below and just click on this little face here and open up the copilot here for PDF gear, you can see it went through and analyzed this document that I had here and it's got given me some examples what I can ask it. So if I wanted to summarize this, convert this to Word, add a password to this, the AI will help me do this. So if I click on summarize, it's going to go through this document and give me that summarization of it. So that's a nice feature to have if you have a lot of PDFs and you want to quickly go through this. If you wanted to go through and ask more questions, just type down in here and then you can ask just like a normal, uh, normal chat with AI, you can go through and work with it here. 
So what do you think of this PDF editor? I'm always happy to find free things like this where it seems to be no catch at all. Well, thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.